Hey guys, Springentang here. Welcome to my brand new channel about mycology. Here, I will document my entire journey so that we can not just learn from my mistakes, but also from my huge successes as well. To start, grab the biggest pot you have, fill it with water, and set the burner on high. Next, we're going to pour our Uncle Ben's rice in. Make sure it's whole grain brown rice, as white rice will stick and it doesn't have as many nutrients. I use four pounds of rice for seven jars. After that, just make sure to wash off all of your jars with soap and water. This ensures that the jars are clean before you load them with rice. Nobody likes dirty jars, guys. Come on now. And now we're going to wash and cool off the rice. If you don't use cold water after, you can risk the rice overcooking. Washing it after cooking ensures that all the starch is off of the grains. And before you put the grain into the bowl, make sure to shake it as dry as possible. Dry wall will occur if you do not drain the rice properly. Now, after your rice looks like this, you can start loading it into the jar. You'll see some moisture on the spoon as the rice is going into the jar notifying that it is not 100% dry. That's okay, because while the rice is in the pressure cooker, it will absorb the rest of the moisture. As you're filling this jar as well, make sure not to overfill it. I perhaps maybe overfilled two or three of them too much, uh, but that isn't gonna make too much of a problem. Now, if you end up with too much rice in the jar, you won't be able to break it up or shake it during colonization. And if you're getting up to the top, just be careful because uh, the harder you shake and break the jar, it very well could break in your hands. And as you can see there, perfect right where we want it, maybe right on the dot even. So we got all seven jars lined up looking real good. Got them ready for the pressure cooker. Now that it's time, load them all up into the pressure cooker. When you have seven jars, you're going to make a ring of six with the seventh in the middle. I'm using a 16 quart Presto, so if you are too, this is what it'll look like. just showing you what it looks like with the seventh one in there and then I'm just going to take it out just so I can fill it and make sure to use white vinegar as it will prevent any clouding on the outside of the jars now we are throwing our cups of water in so Presto says three cups of water no matter how much you pressure cook. So I would always recommend to go with the owner's manual on this one as you don't want to break any jars and you don't want your pressure cooker turning into a bomb. throw that last one in there but it does say to try to avoid any water bubbles underneath so just try to tilt that jar after I put the lid on I tilt the entire pressure cooker you don't have to but if you don't it could mess with the pressure inside along with the temperature now once you get the lid on you're gonna crank your burner to high and wait until you see some steam come out And as soon as you see steam, set a timer for 10 minutes. After that timer is up, you are all good to throw your weight on. 15 PSI is what we're looking for, for 90 minutes. As soon as it hits 90 minutes, you are all good to take it off. If it goes under 15 PSI, the timer resets. And once you're done, take it off the burner and let it cool off. Do not remove your weight until your safety valve is up. 
And once it's depressurized, you'll see that safety valve's down, zero PSI. Go ahead, take off your weight. And go ahead, remove your jars. When I remove mine, there's a little bit of a darker hue around the edges, meaning that they may have cooked a little bit. That's fine, you just have to shake up the jars afterwards to evenly distribute any water left in them. Once they're all done, they should look like this. Make sure to let the jars cool to room temperature before inoculation. And also make sure that if you have any water in there, to shake it all around to ensure that the rice absorbs it. Failure to do so will result in wet rot. I've seen it so many times, just not personally experienced it yet. If you want to learn more about my content, go ahead and head over to my Patreon where I document every single detail of the journey. The only content that you'll have to pay for on there is fruiting content, along with eventually getting my videos a week early as well. If you like this video, make sure to check out my website to support me. Everything helps in turning this into my full scale job. We have some really nice hats, shirts, hoodies, and even face masks, so you can show the Sparangatang love while you're doing your mycology work. And I also have a Discord server in the works so that we can all create a great community around these amazing things, along with doing giveaways, group grows, and trading genetics as well. If you ever need any help, I'll be on there daily to try and help everyone out that I can. Thank you so much for staying this long. If you like this type of content from me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell as I'll be dropping content every week on YouTube and daily on my socials.